Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, what we've got here, we've got a curved, same curved rod which lies again in the xy plane and has a radius of r. If a force f acts at its end is the same force acting at the end, determine the moment of this force about point B. That's here. Uh, gentlemen, can 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 you please uh, mute your your mic so that there's no echo here? Okay, so now you have to find the moment about point B. Last time you found the moment about point A. So what you did to find the moment caused by this force, you had a position vector O to A, and then you once you found the position vector, you had you got your R, and then you had your force in vector form. So you did this. To find the moment at point O. Now, very same approach you have to use. We have to find the moment at point B. Sorry. At, at point B here. So, what you would need is this position vector R B A cross. F, you've already got it. Gentlemen, I want you to solve this and find the moment for me. You need the position vector R, R, B, A. You've got the radius given. This is also R. So let us see if you can calculate it. Come on, give me, you've got, you've got three minutes to solve this. need the answers. Anyone got the answers?
R sorry, what R A C okay that's for the uh, fourth okay who's got the answer for me is this what you're getting yes sir yes sir yes sir uh, yes sir yeah. Is everyone clear how we got this? I've, I've, I've done the working for you here. So anyone who doesn't understand where we got those, uh, this are uh, the two components. Uh, the X component is basically uh, this one and uh, this one here. Because we got the angle given so I can easily find. Oh, come on. Sorry. I can easily find this distance and also I can easily find this distance that's my R from here to here that's R so this is R so R minus this yeah R minus this bit gives me this distance here that's the distance I get anyway let's move on okay